Hi everyone, welcome to English with Arash. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe us if you haven't already. In this video, we want to talk about although and though. Well, let's start. Although and though, they connect two clauses, the main clause and the adverbial clause. The adverbial clause starts with although or though, while the main clause and uh, the main clause and the adverbial clause there is a contrast between them and although or though uh, shows this contrast between these two clauses so let's write here although And the. Now I want to write examples here. Although uh, although candidates have excoriated. Each other publicly. Next Korean means criticize someone severely. Although candidates have excoriated each other publicly, none of them. Uh, I should expand the frame of my topic area. None of them were able to uh, affect. Uh, public opinion well this is an example that shows how although is used we have two clauses here we have an adverbial clause which has started with although and we have a main clause in this clause we see that people's opinion people's opinion were not uh, being affected and in the adverbial clause there is something that contrasts with that. Candidates were uh, criticizing each other so severely and impublicly, but what happened at last cont contradicted with what these candidates uh, have done. So there is, a, there is a surprising contrast between the adverbial clause, which is this part, the adverbial clause, which is this part, and the main clause, which is this part. We can also use though at the beginning of a sentence. Follow this example. Though I managed to smoke you in the contest, I don't feel victorious yet well uh, there is an example starting with though the first clause is the adverbial clause and the second clause is the main clause the adverbial clause and the main clause and there is a contradicting meaning between these two these two clauses there is a surprisingly uh, difference a surprising contrast between these two clauses though although and though have the same meaning and they are both both of them are used to show a contrast a surprising contrast between the main clause which is this clause and the adverbial clause, which is this clause. Though is less formal than although. Le, though, is less formal. It's less formal. Let's make another example. Compose another sentence. Though. Oh, I should change the color to black. Here we go. Though, um, 
blue. No, 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 I should change the color to white. I forgot that the background is black. Blue. The energy potions are, for example, enlivened me. Enlivened me. I still feel a little down. Yeah, I have drunken energy potions and a little I felt maybe energized, enlivened, but that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. So there's a contrast between the adverbial clause and the main clause. And we use though uh, for a little. We use though for a little less formal contexts. Now notice that we can use though, but not although, at the end of a sentence. Pay attention to the next example. There are good. Universities in Middle East, comma, because we are moving to the next clause. The um, brain, the brain drain, brain drain means intelligent people living the country. The brain drain shows. That there is dissatis dissatisfaction. The dissatisfaction is double S. So pay attention to though. Now the second clause is the adverbial clause but in our previous examples the first clause were our adverbial clause so this is our adverbial clause and the yeah we have our we have a, we have our uh, adverb here our contrasting adverb now pay attention to another tip about although and though. Let me write the sentence here. Although the atmosphere is luminous, although the atmosphere is luminous, uh, it doesn't feel okay yet. It doesn't. It doesn't still feel good yeah oh uh, well for example I'm at a cafe and uh, I decorated my cafe with so many lumps but uh, it is still and I have made it so luminous full of light the atmosphere is well lit but I don't like it mm, I don't know uh, maybe I should add something else to my decoration now I can change this sentence to this form. Well, luminous is an adjective. I can say luminous though, luminous though, the atmosphere is, comma, now main clause, it, it, doesn't it doesn't uh, still feel good luminous is our adjective luminous is our adjective and if we want to add an emphasis to the adjective we can just 
put it in the beginning of the sentence. So we can start our sentence, we can start our uh, adverbial clause with adjective. So we say, luminous though the atmosphere is, oh, it doesn't feel good. It means it is so luminous. We add an extreme emphasis to the, the adjective luminous. It's, it's so luminous, al although it is so luminous, but it doesn't feel good. Now let's make, compose another example. Uh, mm, slow, though that night was slow means boring a uh, sl slow night a boring night a uh, slow though that night was in or at the rest rest to rent uh, we were fascinated to serve the regulars Regulars are fixed customers. Yeah, there was not a very enthusiastic night, a very energetic night at the restaurant. It was a slow night and slow though. It means it, means it was so slow, but there were customers, there were fixed customers, people that they are always coming in, that we meet them every night customers that we meet them regularly we call we call them regulars we were fascinated that our regulars were coming in so we had customers our restaurant was filled with our loyal customers so we were happy it was a slow night but yeah we were fascinated to have our regulars with us slow though it means although it was slow slow though that night was it means although that night was slow well you see that the adjective slow is at the beginning of the sentence what is the meaning of regular again people who come or go to a place over and over again people who come or go to a place over and over again so this is for now this is advanced grammar although and though if you enjoy learning advanced grammar please subscribe us and follow with other videos regarding advanced grammar thank you for watching